my channel and i'm going to uh, show you how you can construct an ellipse using force center method how to construct an ellipse using force center method when you are given the major axis and the distance between the two foci so um for the major axis we are going to use 120 millimeters and the distance between the two foci is 90 millimeters let's go and see how this construction can be done construction of an ellipse using force center method when we are given the major axis and the distance between the two foci now what we need to do first is to draw a horizontal line so we draw a horizontal line like this and then we are to draw a vertical line so just uh, move away like this and draw a vertical line so i have the vertical line like this okay so we need to locate the um, distance between the two foci so as i said the distance between the two foci is 90 millimeters which means that uh, from this point so if i call the point of intersection of these two lines as point o that they intersect at point o here okay so then the next thing that i'm going to do is that from o to the left side i will take a measurement of 45 millimeters okay then to the right side i will take 45 millimeters making it 90 okay so which means that this point is point f1 so i will call this point f1 and i will call this point i will call it f2 so these are the two four c then from o again i will take a measurement of 60 millimeters to the left and also to the right for the major axis that we are given as i said that the major axis is 120 millimeters so from o to the left side so we have 60 millimeters we have 60 millimeters and to the right side we have 60 millimeters this is 120 millimeters i will call this point i will call it point a okay so this point i will call it point b so a b is the major axis okay now we need to locate point c and d so on this vertical line which will give us the minor axis how do we get do that so what we need to do now is that we take a measurement of oa or ob so oa or ob so distance from o to a or distance from o to b so which is 60 millimeters so we take this distance like this then i will raise it up and put it at f1 or f2 i can use either of the two i can use oa which is 60 millimeters or ob 60 millimeters then when i take that radius oa or ob i will put the in point at f1 or i put at f2 anyone that i like so then uh, if i put it at f1 here then i make an arc on this vertical line up here and i also make an arc okay so i also make an arc down here on this vertical line so this point here now this point and this point so distance between uh this point so i'll call this point i'll call it point c why this point i'll call it point d okay so this is distance cd is equal to the minor axis is equal to the minor axis okay so we have located point c and point d whose distance is equal to the minor axis okay then the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to join uh ac together so we join ac together like this so we join ac together we join ac together so if i join ac like this okay the next thing that i'm going to do is that with center o here we center o here so putting a pinpoint on my compass at o and extending it to point c here then i'm going to draw an arc so here i will draw an arc like this okay so the arc midline a b at this point i will call this point i will call it point e okay so this is point e here then the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will take distance a e with my compass take distance a e with my compass okay so taking this distance a e so like this so i will raise it up with this radius put the pinpoint at point c here put 
the midpoint at point C here, then I will make an arc on this line AC. So where this arc intersect line AC, so I will call this point, I will call it point G. Okay, so I call it point G. Then I'm going to bisect AG. I will bisect AG. So to bisect AG, I believe you know how to bisect any given line. I have to divide any given line into two equal parts. So I want to bisect AG. So here I draw an arc here. I draw an arc down here. So with the same radius, so putting it at G here. Okay, so then I draw an arc here. Then I'll draw an arc here. Alright, so I'm going to join the point of intersection of the arcs together. That means I'm drawing a perpendicular bisector of distance AC, of line AC. I'm uh, sorry, AG line AG. So here I'm going to draw the line. Okay, so draw the perpendicular bisector of AG like this. Okay, so this line that bisect distance AG, it meets this line, this line CD extended, it meets it at this point. So this point here, so I'm going to call it point O. So I call it O3. Okay. Then where this line, where this bisector of AG, meet line AB, which is this point. So I will call it point O1. So here I'll call this O1. So what I need to do now is that I need to locate O2. So up here on this vertical line. Sorry, O4. O4 here on this vertical line. Then O2, I will, uh, I will look for it. Here, how do I do that? So what I need to do is that from O2, from O1 to point O here, from O1 to point O here, so I will take this distance, so I say radius, okay? Alright, so then I will put at this point O here, then I make an arc here, so this will give me O2, so this point is point O2 here, so here we have O2. So here, so this is O2. Then I to get O4 up here. So what I will just do is that from this point O3, so I will extend my compass to point C here. I will extend my compass to point C. Okay. So extend it to point C here. Then I'll raise it up, put it exactly at on D, then making an arc here. So this point here, so distance. Uh, this point is point O4. So I call this O4. So this distance C O4 or O4C is equal to O3D or D O3. So this is what we are going to get. So the four centers that we are going to use to construct this ellipse are center O1, center O2, center O3, and center O4. So now we can go on and draw the ellipse. So putting the midpoint of our compass at O1, putting it at O1 here, and I will extend it to point A here. So extend it to point A on the major axis. So as you can see here, so I will draw an arc. So it goes up like this, and I will take it down. So I will take it down here like this. You are not drawing everything. So, and then, so with the same, so radius at point O2 here. So at point O2, the same radius at O2 here. So extend it to point B. So here I will draw an arc. So it goes up like this. So I just stop it here and then we draw it down here. So just stop it there here. So now, so with center O3, in center O3, so extending it. To this point C here, extend it to point C on the vertical, so which is the major axis. So extend it to point C. Okay. So we have what we have this. So I'll just join this together like this. Alright, so then it comes to this side like this. Alright, so then I will put it at O4, which is this point. Putting that O4 here, so which is this point, and it goes, goes like this. So passing through point D, and it also goes like goes like this. 
so I have this so this is how the ellipse we looks as simple so I've done it here so this is how we are going to have the ellipse as simple as I've done it here all you need to do is to practice and practice it to become a master at it thank you and God bless you